In this video, I want to go over what's called the first translation theorem. It basically says if you have the Laplace of a function, f of t times e to the at, what you can do in this case is you can just drop the e, so this is equal to the Laplace of f of t, and then you replace the e with a shift. So you draw a line, and you write this s, to s minus a. Let's go ahead and do an example right away so you see how this works. Say we have the Laplace, let's do an easy one, of t squared e to the 3t. Okay, so all you do here is you drop the e, so this is the Laplace of t squared, and then you replace the e with a shift. So you draw the line, and this time it would be s to s minus a. So your a is 3, so it's s minus 3. Good stuff. Now, if you remember, when you're taking the Laplace of t squared, it's always whatever is here factorial, and it's one higher on the bottom. So it's 2 factorial, and then it's s, and it's one higher on the bottom, so s cubed. And we still have the line, so s is going to s minus 3. Again, it's always whatever is here factorial, and it's always s, and it's one higher on the bottom. The last thing to do here is replace the s with s minus 3, and we have effectively used our shifting powers. So 2 factorial is 2, whoops, <laughs> over s minus 3 cubed. And so that, my friends, would be the answer to the question. Let's do another one. Say you have the Laplace of e to the 2t cosine 4t. So again, as before, you can just drop the e. So this is the Laplace of cosine 4t. And then you replace the, sh the e with a shift. So you draw the line, and you go from s to s minus 2. The Laplace of cosine, well, just remember, cosine has the s. Cosine has the s. So let me write the formula over here in case you don't remember. The Laplace of cosine kt, that's going to be s, because cosine has the s. Sine has a k here, and it's s squared plus k squared. So in this example here, it's s over s squared plus 4 squared, so plus 16. And then we still have our beautiful shift, so s to s minus 2. Now you simply replace all of the s's with s minus 2's. This will be equal to s minus 2. Here we have s minus 2 squared plus 16. And that would be the final answer. So that's how you use what's called the first translation theorem to find uh, the Laplace transform. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn about uh, Laplace transforms. Take care.